right guys so before we jump into the algebra questions let us look at the two first questions and last year people question one negative three squared plus negative two squared this is equal to well first please don't read the question one time please read the question at least two times now remember, whenever you raise an, an integer, a negative integer, to a even power, so the power is an even number, then the result is going to be positive. So negative 3 times negative 3 give you a positive 9, and negative 2 times negative 2 give you a positive 4. So your answer is C. All right, now number 2 says what number when added to one and one third gives two again reread your question make sure you look what they are asking you for so it is what number you add to one and one third to give you two so of course you have your one old so you need now to get the other old make it two holes. three one thirds give you one right and a one third is there already, so to make it one, you would need two one thirds. So that means your answer is B, right? Two thirds. B. All right, so we're going to look at the algebra questions now. So we move up to question 21 of last year paper and it says so it gives two fractions the denominators are both x terms right and so all you need to do is to change the denominator make the de denominators the same so we could multiply both fractions now by the coefficients of x so 1 and 1 over 5x, so we would multiply that by the coefficient of the next fraction. And we do the same for the next fraction, right? Just to make the denominators the same. So we have 3 over 15x. And then 10 over 15x. So our answer is... 13 over 15x. So once the denominators are the same, we can go ahead and add the numerators. Now, say, for, say you didn't remember how to do this or you're contemplating your answer. And you feel like you should have multiplied the denominators. Well, let us look at if we had multiplied the denominators. All right, so we would get what now? Multiplying the denominators, we would end up with 5 times 3, which is 15, and the x times x give us squared x. So just like working a regular fraction, we would have 15 squared x in our denominator. Then we divide 5x into 15 squared x give us 3x. And then 3x into 15 squared x give us 5x. Now we multiply the 3x by the numerator there. 1, we end up back with our 3x. Then 2 times 5x, 10x. This is equal to 13x over 15 squared x. Can that be simplified? Yes, the x's can be simplified, all right? Because x, 3, 13x is the same as 13 times x, and then 15 squared x is the same as 15 times x times x. So 2x's there can be to give us 1. And we still end up back with 13 over 15x, all right? So we get the same answer there, which means our answer is D. 
right. Hope you got that one. If you can master algebra, you will do well in the exam. The exam is mostly algebra. Now let us look at question 22. When 5 is added to a certain number, so add 5 to a certain number. Let's call it number C. And the result is multiplied by 3. So the result that you get will be 5 plus C, don't it? So we multiply that by 3. The final result is going to be 27. Now what is the original number? All you need to ask yourself now is 5 plus what number times 3 give you 27? Right? So you start to look at what numbers you multiply by 3 to get 27. Of course, it would be 9. And 5 plus 4 is 9. But say you can't look at it and tell. Well, work it out. Use a distributive law. 3 times 5, 15, plus 3 times C, 3C, equal 27. Now what we do next is to take the 15 from 27. You take 15 from 27. So 3C is equal to 12. Now, you, mod you divide both sides by 3. So, C is equal to 4. Alright? So, I hope you can work those questions. And of course, your answer is A. Alright. So, let us move to 23. Another algebra question and last year paper. What is the value of square root x plus 3y all over xy? If, of course, x equal 4 and y equal 2. Now, all we need to do is to substitute these values. Wherever we see x, put 4. And where we see y, we're going to put 2. Guys, all you have to do is to make sure you're doing the right operation, the correct operation. So we squared the, the 4 because x is 4. All right? And then we multiply 3 by 2 because y is 2. All right? 4 squared, you have to make sure you are being focused and don't write 4 squared equal 8. This 4 squared is equal to 16 plus 6 all over 8, all right? So we get 22 over 8. And 22 over 8, which is 11 over 4, as a mixed fraction, as, I, as you can see, all the multiple options there are in mixed fraction. So convert the 11 over 4 to a mixed fraction. We get 2 and 3 quarters. So our answer there is D. All right, looking good so far. Practice your algebra. That way you don't have to do a whole lot of working, a whole lot of working during the exam. All right, you have to be mindful of the time. All right, and work as quickly as possible. So 24 was a, an inequality question. And when you get inequality, just focus on the inequality symbols for the question this one is simply asking you to simplify so don't waste any time time is running just um try to interpret the questions properly and you have to do this by rereading your question all right so all you have to do is simplify divide all the numbers by a common factor so as you can see two is a common factor there 2 into 4, 2, 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 3, 6. 1x is just x. Question 25. 
Now, the sum of two positive numbers, P and Q, is 32. Their difference is 12. What is the smaller number? So, of course, you start to see what two numbers you add to get 32. And when you subtract them, you get 12. So, those two numbers would be what? Yes, tw 22 and 10. When you add them, you get 32. When you subtract them, you get 12. The difference between them, don't it? So, what is the smaller number of those two? The 10. So, our answer is A. All right. Remember, guys, reread your question and make sure you are given what the question is asking you for. Now, 26. 26 says asking you to multiply two algebraic expressions. So, of course, you can, for this, the variables are the same. You go ahead and multiply the coefficients, which is 3 times 2, and then the x squared times x cubed. But if you want, you can, like this now, write out your entire expressions. So we expand it, all right? And you go ahead, 3, 2, 6, and there is 5x there. So it's x to the fifth. So the answer is 5. Your answer is B. <laughs> no, it's not.